So how are gun owners and gun enthusiasts feeling about all of the talk of new gun policy? I sat down with a panel of gun owners from Florida, Alabama, Connecticut, Arizona, and New York. Three of them say they are now having second thoughts about their own weapons in light of the massacre in Parkland, Florida. So here's part one of our conversation. How many of you felt after the Parkland shooting that something was going to change, that Parkland was a tipping point. Show of hands. Why did you feel this time was different? This time because the kids, the children from the school, have been so front and center and so active that it just gave a, a little bit of a different feeling, uh, especially because they're the next generation and, and they're speaking up. Not that I agree with what they're pushing, but I think the use of social media and, and the snowball effect from what they've been able to do in this past week is entirely different from any of the previous incidents. People have had enough. It's really that simple. Uh, I think sentiment is changing. I said the first day that there was going to be a tipping point at this point. Um, we've just had enough of this constant carnage. And the question becomes, why do we not do something about it? It's really that simple. Why? I think that we're having a really hard time focusing in on what the real issues are. And we all want this to stop. And we all want a fix, you know? And, but the fix isn't banning guns. The fix is much deeper than that. Well, let's just take a vote right here. How many people would be comfortable with an assault weapons ban? Show of hands. Two of you. OK, why not? I don't think there needs to be a ban. There needs to be modifications to the weapons, limitations to the weapons. Meaning not high magazine Correct. capacity? Correct. The AR-15 should not be used as a, a home protection weapon. Why not? Welcome to 1984. Because it, it, it's, you know what a fabulous that. gun that is for women? It, it for is a fabulous gun. So is, is, so is a shotgun. Yeah, shotgun's actually no, but a much a woman, better weapon. No, but it's home. much harder to handle, not you don't for have a woman. To, but you your accuracy to doesn't have to be direction. a That's, Gary has that's a, a fallacy, well, too. And, that's and, a and to hear a pump-action shotgun um, go, most people will leave. That's a fallacy. You also don't need home protection. Um, oh. you, don't, you don't need guns for home protection. The probability that you'll be involved in a gun-related crime is 0.003%. If I have somebody breaking into my home, I need a means of self-defense. Whether that's a handgun, whether that's an AR-15, that should be my choice. And frankly, I think the law allows that choice. If they banned AR-15s, you could still defend yourself with your handgun. I Possibly. Could. And the shotgun. You guys are missing the key point yeah, here. This is, is a Second Amendment right. We're this not is our taking away your the AR-15. Let me finish, please. Sorry. Yeah. Let me finish, Go please. Ahead. This is a constitutionally protected right. This is not a government legislated privilege, such as driving a car. This is a completely different conversation. Yep, fair enough. But do you think the forefathers meant the AR-15? I think they meant our protection against a tyrannical gun of government Thank and you. for our self-protection. So, right. so, so, so of course they don't know what the guns are, but but if you, you can't start messing with our constitutionally protected rights well, when you start doing There that. are interpretations, so, obviously, of what the forefathers meant. Right. I mean, you, you're not actually allowed to have an automatic weapon. I know why you want them. I know they, they make a lot of noise. They shoot a lot of bullets. Very macho gun. It's cool looking. I understand why they want them. But nobody can tell me why you need it. We don't exactly. have to need it. It's a constitutionally protected right. Well, I don't those not, that, I don't not. Those have kids that need, need it. it to live. Yeah. Of course it's they did. And the, the AR-15 isn't a constitutionally protected right. right. It's no different mm -hmm. from any uh, other. Arms I just, are, you have the but right, not, not an AR-15. You, you have the this right arm. to self-defense, yes. and it's not only a Second Amendment right. You have the right to life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, yeah. and that is all about protecting yourself, protecting your family. Right. And all those kids have the right to life, and they're dead. You cannot yell fire in a in a movie theater even though we have the right to free speech. Mm -hmm. And we've already decided that you cannot have an automatic weapon. All right, so all we're talking about is where the line is. But the line it, is for military use, and an, and an AR-15 is not a military rifle. It is a regular semi-automatic rifle that looks badass. What about a semi with a Would your life change any if you didn't own an assault rifle, yes. an AR-15? Would your lifestyle change any? My lifestyle? That, 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 yeah, no, because I, that there's is, other right. firearms I would exactly. purchase. But my concern for my country and in the protection of our Second Amendment rights would. So, and uh, that's scary. At what point will we have to stand up against our government and use lethal force <laughs> in, in, the, in the year 2000? It's happening yeah, well, in Venezuela. Let's, 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 in let's, Venezuela. Let's, 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 there's a million slippery slope arguments that we can use, but let's try to stay in the present. So here's what's being proposed today. Okay. Do you support the end of the sales of bump stocks, making bump stocks illegal? Absolutely. Show of hands. Three of you. Why would you not support an end to bump stocks that mowed down 58 people from a window? 
Well, that's a loaded question. A gun cannot do anything unless someone is operating it. Thank you. It is a tool. And if sick people uh -huh. have a mental issue, yeah. that is them. It's not the gun. I could do it's the same thing with my By law, it's not illegal. It's, it's not, an accessory. It's not considered an automatic weapon. Okay. You have a bump stock. And okay. you know, How many times has a bump stock been used in a mass shooting? But why are you comfortable Once. with it? Why are you defending bump stocks? Because I think it should be available. I think it should Why? be available to For those what? out there. Because it's not an issue of the gun itself or the weapon itself. Right. It's an issue of the individual behind it. And which individual would want to use a bump stock? A, a crazed individual, right? Why Who not was ban going them? to a mass shooting? Why not ban them? What does that accomplish, though? What, what are we going it with? It keeps that? those 58 people alive. Once you start doing that, what's the next accessory? Right. Now you're opening up a whole other thing because it's not a firearm. Let's keep going through what the solutions are. Uh, President Trump is proposing arming teachers, those that are trained and adept. Who's comfortable? Arms up. If they want to, as a if volunteer. If they want to, voluntarily. Yeah. Voluntarily. I, okay. If, okay. Voluntarily. Why aren't you comfortable with, with that, Amanda? I mean, I feel like this shouldn't even need to be explained. I think Mr. Trump is way off the mark on this. You don't want to bring more guns into a situation. The answer to solving violence is not more violence. You were a teacher yeah, for seven the years. The last thing I want is a gun in my classroom. And when you're trying to shoot a shooter that's in the building, you're going to hit kids. Or if the police show up and you're a black teacher holding a gun because you were defending against a shooter, you're going to get shot. I totally understand what you're saying and that concern, and I know a lot of people have that, you know, but, but I think we agree we don't want people armed that aren't prepared to do it, what needs to be done if they have to and don't have the training. No one can possibly be but, prepared for a situation where you're well, you firing gunshots around you children. You don't have that you know, right to make that bad. choice for children that are in school when they could be protected mm -hmm. by somebody potentially right with a gun a that, that has training. You don't have the right to, to rule over their life have and you, say that they didn't have, have the teacher? opportunity to save those children. But you're, you're yeah, ruling teacher. over their lives saying that we should have AR-15s incorrect. and allow someone to bring it in. Incorrect. For my self-protection or in a classroom, I want anything that's better than what he has. And I want more rounds than whatever he has. Okay, so here's why a couple of them are so relevant. Uh, they're all rethink, three of them are rethinking their own um, gun purchases, but two of them destroyed their guns. Mm -hmm. So Scott on the lower left, right. he's the one whose video went viral. He destroyed his AR-15 because of what he saw in Parkland. So tomorrow we're going to talk to him about why he decided to do this. Also, the teacher on the right-hand side, the blonde on the lower right, she also destroyed her gun because of Parkland. So we're going to ask what's happened in their lives if they regret doing that. No, so look, I think that uh, this is a very fair reflection of where people's minds are on this issue. And at the end of the day, it becomes about the political will. If yeah. they, there's no question that legally, you know, some of the people there are wrong about what you can do and you can't do legally. Yes, it's a right in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. It can be subject to reasonable regulation. Even Scalia said that, and we have it. If the politicians want to do it, they will be rewarded or punished at the polls. That's the way it should work. Will some of those people be upset? Yes. That's the price of political action. All right, so part two uh, of our sit-down with gun owners is tomorrow.